Hello and welcome to Design Technology. I'm hoping this could be an option that you decide to take, but before I go into more detail, I just want you to try and think, are you the sort of person that likes to solve problems? Do you like to find creative solutions? If this sounds like you, this could be the subject to take. Two little problems for you. So the first one, if I look at the, the carrot and the rabbit, the rabbit's on a ratchet, as it moves around, it gets closer to the carrot. Any idea what you think this might actually be? Something which is used in a kitchen. Right hand side, taken from an exam question, you have a grid. And the idea is how many of those triangles could you actually sort of fit into that grid? Try to actually sort of think about minimising the wastage. We'll come back to that later. Why choose design and technology? As an employer, we try to actually cover lots of different skills that they will be looking for. Skills such as the creativity, innovation and adaptability, communication skills, transferable skills from one job to another, aptitude and willingness to learn shows how you can actually adapt to new challenges, something which a new employer would actually be looking for. We would actually work on critical thinking skills and build your teamwork in and negotiation skills. So how is this course assessed? Basically, you will have a two hour written exam paper, which is worth 50% of the total overall mark. On top of that, you will have a non-exam assessment, a project which you will have to complete in school over about seven or eight months. Again, this is worth 50%. One of the few courses that actually allows you to actually accumulate your marks through working on a project in school. One of the things with the new course is very similar to how you would actually work in industry. Initially, you start off by actually finding out more about your user. Who would actually be your potential market? Find out what their needs and wants are. How would the product be used? You need to consider sustainable design. Try to actually sort of think about the environment and how your product will actually affect the surrounding areas. And you need to know about materials. Find out what is good and bad. And the best way to actually sort of use those materials Thinking about sustainability again. When it comes to the design, and we'll start off with sketches, trying to come up with a complete range of ideas, trying to be as innovative and imaginative as we can, come up with some creative ideas which we can then develop and move on, maybe through the work of uh, modelling through card, but all the time we'll be analysing what we've done and how we can actually sort of improve things. We'll be looking at existing products and again, analysing good and bad things and seeing if we can introduce that into our making. The making, which is about 30 or 40% of the overall course, will actually be looking at the quality and the actual accuracy we can actually produce in the hand and machine tools. We need to sort of know how things work and wherever possible, introduce those into our products. And we finish off with evaluating, looking at what we've done, how could we improve it? Is there anything else that we could actually sort of do to make this product even better? Certain parts of this course have to be covered. Things like new and emerging technology, looking at energy generation, how electricity is produced, looking at developments in new materials, and trying to actually sort of work out a systems approach to designing, looking at different types of mechanical devices, and thinking about materials and their working properties so that we can actually make justified selections later on in the project. In maths, we need to be able to know a little bit about graphs and charts and be able to present and actually read information from them. If we use our proportion and scale, that will actually help with our sketches to make sure that we actually got clear definition. Geometry and trigonometry will actually be using 2D design quite often to actually sort of create complex shapes. In science, we'll be learning more about materials, things like mechanical properties, finding out how and when we could actually sort of use materials for certain designs. We'll be thinking about recycling materials and where we can actually sort of use them to actually help reduce the impact on the environment. Sustainable design is a very important feature in designing now. And again, that will always be the forefront of our designing. This is an overview of the mark scheme for the non-exam assessment, which you will be starting in year 10, probably about the June time.
Choosing design technology will actually gain access to lots of transferable skills, such as using your initiative, being organised, a good communicator, being innovative, a good team worker, and being analytical. These are not only good skills in your work life, but also good skills for life in general. Design technology can actually offer lots of different career paths for you. But even just having the transferable skills gained, they can actually sort of take you in lots of many others. Have a look at some of the ones here. How did you get on with the earlier problems? You'll see the carrot and the rabbit is actually a kitchen roll holder. The rabbit, which is on a ratchet, turns to make sure the kitchen roll is nice and tight. The exam question is actually all about inverting triangles to reduce the wastage space. Did you get that right? <laughs>